Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to the first episode of Damon X Machina. This is a mech game, it's an eastern mech game where you have big battle suits with tons of weapons and we're gonna dive directly into it. So this is gonna be a playthrough from the beginning to the end and I have already taken a little look into it already and um, it's super hilarious, I really do like it and I also have some critique on it but we're gonna dive into it and then we talk about that later. We're gonna overwrite our uh, existing game, this is some uh, pre-order bonus that we get. We got a bazooka as well as a saber, as well as some decals here, and uh, an assault rifle, a submachine gun, and a rocket launcher. That's pretty cool early on. So let's dive into it. This game is all about salvage. You really want to go ahead and um, salvage your your stuff from the battlefield and make your mech suit better and be uh, a great mech pilot. But here's the intro. Yeah, something happened there. And then part of the moon is colliding with Earth, or whatever the planet is that we are fighting on. Uh. Yeah, it seems to be Earth and moon. And did you, did you see that focal lens here? That is a, an already a hint. We are fighting against AIs. And here comes our character. And what I really like about the game, guys, is the fact that you can actually design your own character. So uh, we, we're gonna have some fun with that in the in the very early game. Alrighty, so that was the starting sequence. Here is the thing, the game is made for consoles. I'm playing it with mouse and keyboard right now, so all of these um, menus are a little bit clunky, but let's go ahead. Uh, on my Twitch playthrough, I was playing with a um, male pilot, so I would say we're gonna go over here and we play with a female. Let's, uh, you know, build something. So skin color is fine here. You can see we have a lot of different hairstyles to choose from, as per usual, and since it's an Eastern game, uh, you, it looks very anime-esque, L like that, you know, this is just super hilarious, or the afro here, that's super cool, this one as well, but I'm gonna go with, um, I want a short hair, maybe that, maybe that, I think this is fine, yeah, she is military, so she's, she's having a bit of a shorter hair, let's go, uh, hair color, I want a kind of a blonde hair, like that, good, uh, we have different facial expressions, obviously. Oh, she looks determined. I like it. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, I'm gonna go with... Was it her? I think it's her. Okay, so skin. Skin, skin, skin. Skin looks... Oh, it's just different... Different eyes. Oh, we can give her freckles. Oh, that's cute. That's super cute. I'm not gonna do that though. All right, uh, eyebrows are fine. Eyes, they have definitely a shape. Oh wow! Or no pupils at all, or dark pupils. Yeah, this is this is super science fiction. I want to go with like dark iris. Oh sorry, dark. What is it called? Pupil? No, it's iris, right? And that's the pupil here. And she's gonna have like a piercing blue eye color. That's gonna be it. Odd eye shape. Oh, we can have two different eyes. I'm not gonna go with that. No, that's fine. Uh, then we can have scars or tattoos. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, she needs she needs a scar or a tattoo of some sort. I want her to be badass. That's also pretty cool. And that's a lot of stuff that you can do. I like this here, I gotta say. You know what? I'm gonna go with that or that. Ooh, or this year. Ah, oh, so cool, so many scratch marks. What I also really like is uh, this year, like a, like a cyberpunk-esque, uh, what is it called? Like it looks like she's a machine, these, these lines there. Uh, I wanna go with something else though. I have something in mind already. Uh, actually, I'll go with that. Then we can color this thing as well, and I'm gonna make it stick out a bit. 
I want it to be kind of a bluish color, turquoise color, green, maybe even red. Or just black, as it was. You know what, we're gonna go with black. What's that? Cosmetic? Eyeshadow. Oh, sure. We're gonna give a red, red eyeshadow. Okay. Lip color is... No, no, no. We're gonna stay with the regular lip color. And then we can choose a voice. Uh... Yeah. Do you even hear it? Yeah, it's gotta be the first one. <laughs> Alright, so, next one. Outer plug suit. We have th three different types. Um, we have the outer plug suit, and then the prototype, and then the metallic black suit. Which is very shiny, I gotta say. I think I wanna go with the other one, though, with the prototype here. I like the matte color a little bit more. And I want it to be... Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright, yeah. No, wait. Ah, I make it dark. And then I make the secondary color bright. And then I make uh, the accent color... Kind of reddish? Reddish, orangish? Something like that, maybe. This looks a little bit like... like um, uh, um, Commander Shepard now. Uh, let's do it. Oh, this is also pretty cool. I need a nice bright accent color. I think I'll go with the... You know what? We'll take the orange. Cool. Uh, we're gonna confirm. And that's her name. And her name is obviously Saber Cat. Let's go. That is her. I chose the name Saber Cat for a reason that you will find out soon. Because all of the names here are absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> the storytelling is over 9000. Depending on which side you're on. Welcome, Sabercat. There's not much talking right now, but it will we'll change. Cool, so we have a character. That's pretty nice. Link accepted. Greetings. My name is Four. I am the operator who serves as the liaison between orbital and outers like yourself. Okay. You have just recovered from transplant surgery to install your neural link terminal. At this time, your biometric data in the oval link will be updated and registered with Orbital. Oh, okay. This is your arsenal on loan from Orbital. Arsenal is the the name of the battle mech. Or Before we register you as a mercenary, suit. you must complete an aptitude test. Accept the mission from this terminal and await dispatch. Yeah, that's just some tutorial stuff. It's fairly easy, I gotta say. But it's a lot of fun, so let's go ahead. This is our terminal. And from here, we can go... That's the thing that we directly do. We kind of go to the hangar, and we're gonna equip our uh, arsenal. We have a good chunk of weapons already, thanks to the pre-order. So, on the right arm... Okay, we have five different components. Six, actually. Right weapon, which is an assault rifle right now. Then we have the left weapon, which is a big shield, but I kind of don't like using that. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another assault rifle there. Then we have a shoulder weapon. At the moment, I only have one thing, that is the homing missile Thunderbird uh, rocket launcher pod. No auxiliary systems yet, but there's also a right pylon, which is basically our, our spare weapon that we can put on the back. And I'm gonna put... A freaking bazooka there, so I can swap my weapons in fight. And then we have the left pylon, and I'm gonna put the melee weapon on there so that I can show it to you later. So, this is just so crazy. Also, I want a different pose. That's more like it. Alright, cool. What we also can do, obviously, is we can paint our arsenal. Uh, we have different patterns that we have to unlock throughout the game, so it's nothing there yet. But we can obviously color it, so let's go ahead and do it. And we can color either the full body or um, the mech um, the mech's components bit by bit. Like arms and head individually. I kind of like what I see already. I want to make it the white... Uh... Wait, is it the, the same color as I have selected already? That's pretty cool already. You know what? I'll leave it at that. Save the paint job, sure. Cool. So we could go to the testing ground, but you know what? We're gonna use the first mission as our testing grounds because it's, uh, again, fairly easy to play. 
So that was just some tooltip, how to accept missions, and here we have it. It's a rank E mission, and the ranks are getting higher the further you progress, and uh, the rank is basically the difficulty. Eliminate all enemy AIs. Sure, we get a thousand credits for it, and we're gonna start right away. Let's do it. One thing that I don't like about the game is um, when you start a new game, your key bindings are reset. I don't know why that is the case, but I have to do it real quick. Normal. Generator pool, normal. Energy limiter released. Electromagnetic armor operating at normal levels. Weapon safety mechanism released. All systems normal. Commencing launch. All systems normal. <laughs> I love it. That's a pretty cool startup sequence here. So, here we go. Let's get into it. The outer aptitude test will begin soon. This is a live fire exercise, but you have nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. Hardly anyone fails this test. Huh. Ma Two maybe we mercenaries will serve as observers during the test. This is Reaper of the Western Seven. I'll be joining you as an observer. And I'm Queen of Panzer Crown. Charmed, I'm sure. And this is why I, why I uh, actually gave myself the name Sabercat here, because Reaper and Rose Queen, Queen of Panzer Crown. Observers for the aptitude test are selected at random from a pool of qualified mercenaries. They're here to make sure the test is conducted fairly, and to intervene if your life is threatened. What Four said, if things get dicey, just ask us for help. That said, don't expect to pass if you nearly die out here. For Oval, and that's how the story writing goes. Whole, outers like yourself are among our most valuable resources. However, if the cost of your arsenal repairs consistently exceeds the profit you generate, your value may be reassessed. Yep. We get it. Let's get this over with already. Like Four said, hardly anyone fails this test. If you're not sure what to do, prioritize your survival. Just trust your instincts and you'll pass with flying colors. We will now begin the aptitude test. All right, let's dive into it. Let's play. So, this is our this is our arsenal. We can dash here, and as you can see, we have a stamina bar on top. There's also VP, which is vitality points. Uh, yeah, then we have a radar that displays different things. It's just different flight control. So, this is what we can do. We can use a little bit of a boost to uh, avoid uh, enemy fire, like to the to the left or right. That's pretty nice. Again, we can fly, and when the stamina is down, we are definitely landing. And we cannot fly for a short period of time. Alright, so there's that. Then we have the weapons. Fairly slow firing, but it's enough. And as you can see on the right side, um, our weapons consume ammo. That's a thing here. And then we also can swap the weapons, for example. Now I have the rocket launcher on the right arm. Still have my left arm filled with, uh, with the auto cannon here, with the machine gun. The assault rifle, actually. So that's pretty cool. And I can also swap to the melee attack. And we make a little dash forward when we attack, and then we're gonna shred people. So let's go with this first. Okay, shoulder weapon. Oh yeah, we also have that. So as soon as we lock on, we can shoot our shoulder parts and drop some missiles at them. It's also pretty cool. And that's the problem. Sometimes you just don't get close enough to get that sword strike out. But hey, kind of work. Uh, recovery tanks. Yeah, we also have that. They are scattered throughout the landscape. And when you just drop them, they create a little bit of a, a bubble that you can stand in and then heal. For a limited amount of time, so you really gotta be careful Once with that. Down and I mean it's it's a starting thing, yeah. Starting mission. Boom! Down it goes. At the moment we are fighting drones and tanks. These are kind of easy single hit targets. We don't need to, to hit them multiple times. Designated Actually, let's AI just go back to the assault rifles here. You can see, even the assault rifles, they are they're just shredding them. And the thing is, you can, you can shoot at longer range with your regular aim, or you just lock on to them and then I don't even need to look at them to destroy them. So as soon as you... Um, as soon as you are in close range, you just hold into them and uh, they just explode left and right. You have passed. Congratulations. 
Your optimal yep. link key has been received. That was the aptitude you test. Are hereby recognized by Orbital and the consortiums as a registered mercenary. From now on, I like flying. It's pretty cool. World peace by completing assigned missions. There's also one more bar up there, Thank which is called Femto, service. which is basically our special energy, and we have three things to do. You can see that in the little three icons below the Femto bar. We can either increase our attack. Uh, by lowering our defenses, which is the first one, we can uh, increase our speed by uh, lowering our defenses, I believe, and then we can up our defenses for the cost of speed, I believe. So that's the boost speed, which is now way faster. And it also doesn't cost stamina anymore. Oh, now it does. Ah, that's cool. Yeah, now that it's completed. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that it doesn't cost stamina. That's nice. So if you want to boost your speed, you just go for that. If you want a shield, you can activate the other thing and it replenishes if you get Femto. I don't know if that, how that works exactly. We will see about that later. I need to get the tutorial again. Anyway, so we are done with the first mission. That was fairly easy. And we got a thousand credits out of that as well as another assault rifle. Not bad. I don't need another one, but it's good to keep them because sometimes you can uh, you can scrap them or you can even sell them later and uh, you can upgrade them as well. So they have augmentation slots, some of them have. So it's basically like a more or less random loot uh, system where you get, I'm gonna show you, where you get uh, the same weapon but with different um, perks and characteristics. I'm gonna show it to you, where's the weapon? Bullet, so this one is the new one. Has an effective range of 210, damage is 150, but this one is just better, and it also has an attachment slot. Yeah. Uh, it has automated shooting though, so that's okay. You just don't, you don't need to hold the weapon down to shoot it. It shoots automatically when it's in range. I don't know why that would be a thing, but hey, it's okay. Also has ammo capacity plus, whereas this has ammo capacity plus plus. It's a bit better. Alright, let's go ahead and play the next mission. I mean, that was just... That was just to, to dip our toes into the water of death, right? <laughs> let's go. Rank E. Sweep the city. Eliminate all enemy AIs. And then side goals. What? Mission I can smell a story. This mission is a request from Sky Union. The details are as follows. Hostile AI forces have invaded Sky Union's territory within the Oval Link. Each assigned mercenary must quickly clear out the enemies within the designated area. All right. We have also confirmed that the invading enemy force consists of these seized AI. For this mission, the area has been divided among all participating reclaimers. You will be accompanying Bulletworks. Briefing over. That was the briefing. Let's get started, guys. It's pretty cool. I like the style of the game. I really do. Early on, it's actually fairly easy, but I don't know. I have invested so far. I have invested two hours. Hey rookie, if you got any questions, I don't know if it's gonna get that much harder. Be happy to show you the ropes. But hey, here's Johnny G. <sighs> See what I gotta put up with? Come on, Corporal. When are you gonna stop treating me like a newbie? Four. Send us the mission data. Uploading. That should be everything. Consult this data for detailed information about the mission area. Continue your approach. The mission will begin soon. Completely irrelevant storytelling here. <laughs> Catch you later, rookie. Yep. Yeah. Goodbye, Johnny. Johnny is cool. I like him. He's, uh, he's like a good guy. He's like a real good guy. So, using objects and vehicles. Oh, yeah, you can also do that if you go close and press F. You can take that. And then we're gonna smack it on them. Kapow! So you can use improvised melee weapons. That's really nice. Alright, so we're gonna quickly destroy those drones here. Let's go. And that's a stamina down. Come on! Jump up! There we go. And that level raid sunshine is the corporal. He's with bullet works too. Please remember to use my call. And you really want to get into close range. My call sign. Because otherwise you won't really be dealing damage, and then you're just gonna use your your lock on to kill them. It is auto aim. I know that's not not for everybody. Anyway, 
But it, it makes you feel strong when you're destroying those tanks and, and vehicles. Actually, I want to check something. Can I pick this up? I can! <laughs> whoa, 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 where's the drone? We just threw a tank at a drone. That's so beautiful. Mission complete. Okay, cool. Executing automatic return sequence. Return according to instructions. Oh no! Ready, huh? Looks like the rookie's still in one piece too. Time to head home and. Wait, John. I don't like how this smells. Something's coming. You and your nose. Access granted. Sky Union's radar station has confirmed the appearance of immortals in your vicinity. Immortals. Transmitting target data. Immortals are like super big, chunky battle vehicles. Oh no! Alright, let's go for their weak spots for massive damage. The nuts! No, 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 no. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Whoa. Dodge that. He wanted to grab me. And I have two of them. You know what? I have the feeling that we're gonna get wrecked into a building. Yeah, that's for sure. I wanna do something. First of all, we heal. And then we're gonna take the katana. Maybe that deals a bit more damage. And we are back in action. Let's go. Oh no! He got me! No! <laughs> Whoa, was flying right into him. Oh yeah, that's that's mo he got me again. What? Stop it! Stop it, you stupid big robot dude! I'm gonna punch you in the nuts. Come on! Oh, it's gonna get a bit messy here. We're too close for this guy. The arms? Yeah, that does nothing. That does absolutely nothing. He's doing something, and I'm in the middle of it. Uh, let's get out of here. Woohoo! In the back! Look at all the floating combat tags. There are so many numbers, and some of them are actually quite, quite high. We have 100s compared to the 50s and 30s. All right, so the cavalry has arrived. Follow my lead. I won't always have this back, you know. Heroic intervention. And they just run through them like it's nothing. I know. It's supposed it's supposed to say both know I'm the superior pilot. Just focus on defeating these for now. It's supposed to say that you're the rookie, those are the badasses, and you have a lot to learn still, but they are taking our victory away. Okay. So far so good. We now know what immortals are. Mission complete. Mission accomplishment recognized. Initiating return sequence. Okay, let's get out of here. So, that was the second mission. Uh, let's keep going. We got 5,000 credits now. That's not bad. No rewards obtained, sadly. But here we go. We have two more characters introduced. I see we have a new face with us. Let me introduce myself. I'm Crimson Lord, second in command of Bulletworks. And this is... Diablo. Diablo! <laughs> you did well out there. I'll be sure to keep you in mind. What an ordeal. I just wanted to score some quick credits. 
Good thing those two swooped in to save us. We're still alive. That's all that matters. You really gotta work on your praise, Corporal. Until next time. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, what do we get? Nothing. Necessary information for completing future missions. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Uh, no, not at the time. So, we're gonna keep playing missions so that we get out of the tutorial zone here. Um, let's go ahead and play another offer mission. Desert Extermination. Investigate the neutral briefing. zone. Let's do it. Briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Sky Union. In response to the appearance of Gigant class immortals during the previous mission, Sky Union has deemed it necessary to investigate neutral areas to prevent future immortal invasions. I've uploaded a map of the mission area. The area you'll be investigating shares a border with Sky Union's territory. Complete any necessary preparations, then stand by and await dispatch. Briefing over. That wasn't the briefing. <laughs> Gigant class immortals. So named after the mythological race. Colossal beings, born from the blood that fell when the primordial god Uranus was castrated. One could say that in this gigantomachy of our time, we are like unto Zeus, brandishing his mighty thunderbolt. Real wordsmith, this guy. Say, I heard you were the first to face off against one of these. What was it like? Uh, what's not different from any other AI? Sure. You got guts, rookie. Can't wait to see you. Sorry, you gotta put up with the prince here, though. Hmm? Did you call me prince just now? Lots of people call you that. House Valentine does not exactly constitute a royal family. I suppose in this age that distinction is lost on common folk. Very well. I will allow you to continue to address me as such. Gee, how considerate of you. In any event, it is essential that every last immortal be driven out. They are a blight, to be purged by humanity. Uh, can I ask a question? Go ahead. Oh, you're that straight shooter from Innocence. Have you been here the whole time? I have. I'm actually responsible for gathering information for our team. Please ask your question. <laughs> These dialogues are just so wacky. Yes. The information we have on those Gigant class immortals indicates that conventional weapons are ineffective. So what do we do if we encounter one? In the previous encounter, the area's wide range radar and communications tower were destroyed. We gathered what little information we could from the battle data of the Arsenal combatants. Beyond that, we know little else. Wait, we destroyed them. Some of us destroyed them. We had like two pilots coming in and just slashing them apart. We just used their weapons. Since Bulletworks was responsible for their destruction in the last encounter, ah. it is highly unlikely that a similar type of immortal could be hiding nearby. Highly unlikely, but not impossible either. Precisely. Which is why Sky Union is loaning special weapons to those who accept this mission. Testing those weapons is a secondary purpose of the mission. Uh huh. Ah, a secondary purpose. I see. So there's a chance these untested weapons might work. But they're just loaning them to us? Yeah, I'm gonna need more incentive than that. Especially when there's a chance these weapons are total duds. Whoa, we just gotta assume all the risk and that's that? They can't sweeten the deal at all? Come on. I'll see what I can do. What? One moment, please. All right. Holding out for a greater reward. You disappoint me, hero. Your older brother would never engage in such unbecoming conduct. Okay, I admit it. Eva's more of a hero than I am. He's all about getting up close and using his own power to take down enemies. But me? Well, if someone's gonna give me a powerful new weapon to play with, I am not gonna say no to that. Impressive. Yes. As mercenaries, we answer to a higher calling. One that demands we destroy the immortals by any and all means at our disposal. That's the right approach. Such is our burden as agents of justice. I imagine being rich enough to afford a made-to-order arsenal helps to ease that burden, though. My siblings and I, we have to work hard so we can afford to eat. It'd really help if you sat this one out, Savior. 
What do you say? I wish you good luck. If you fight as a stalwart agent of justice, I will not need to enter the fray. <laughs> that, in turn, would entitle you to my share of the reward. Deal. I'll do my part. That's a bit of a foreshadowing. I have completed negotiations with Sky Union. They are willing to extend the loan period indefinitely if you agree to provide them with all future battle data. Well, in that case, I accept this mission. What about you, Prince? When duty beckons, ours is not to refuse. <laughs> Innocence will also accept. So, later on you can actually ally with some of them and then you can call them in and they take a bit of a share of your reward and, um, you know, if the mission is too hard for you, which it hardly is, uh, you can just do it and take some additional help. Alright, let's go ahead and learn the salvage system. That's uh, actually pretty cool. So you can salvage stuff from the battlefield and use it right away. Absolutely directly. Oh wait, it's not that yet. Oh wait, it's not that yet. Oh, never mind then. Yeah, I'm not dealing damage to them, so let's go ahead and just kill the tanks that are nearby. Alright, so we got the shoulder weapon, that's okay, we can do that. You look more broken in than I expected. Name's Deva the Steel Knights. What's up? Oh, knock it off. I'm at the rope getting briefing. Prince, it's no actually quite chill just, just flying around, yeah. destroying these. Don't worry, rookie. I'm sure you'll team up with them eventually. Prince, that tool savior's still alive? One of these days, I really need to That's just a lot of drones. If you did, my daddy noticed. Okay. Oh, our target is. Oh, our goal is to destroy just 60 drones here. Got it. Collectively, we're known as reclaimers. As a group, it's easier to take on bigger missions and negotiate for whatever supplies. If you don't want to die, surrounding yourself with allies is the way to go. We teamed up with Bullet One before, yeah. Among reclaimers, one of the largest. Drones have nothing. Nothing that they can do. Experts in the art of war. We're talking the best of the best of the best among reclaimers, no question. And that Prince guy? He actually needs a group of reclaimers called the Five Hells. Who is something else? That's for sure. They're nobles, basically. They got the credits and clout to put average Joes like us to work for. That's one way of putting it. Still, even nobles have duties they can't shirk by paying off the masses. Well, whatever. We're all mercenaries in the Oval Link. And, as much okay. as I need to admit it, that guy's a good mercenary. Damn good. I bet you give him a run for his money in a fight. You know? And that's it. We didn't even get to hear the end of the storyline here. We didn't even get to hear the end of the um, of the conversation. I was not talking because I wanted you to hear it. Executing automatic Um But yeah, th that's that was that mission. Guess we didn't find the big boys. Talk about a tease. <laughs> but hey, at least we get to use these weapons all we want. I'd say that counts for something. I guess. Later, rookie. Don't go dying now. Alright, let's get out of here. Good. So, that was that mission. Uh, 2,000 credits. Sure, we get another Thunderbird and a Camel Pattern. Eh, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's keep going. We are still not done. Uh, we can now equip the other um, rocket part that we have there. Let me go ahead and see that. So, it's basically the same thing, but ours has an attachment slot, so I'm gonna keep the one that we have right now. Okay. No, wait. Ah, it's the it's the yellow one that we got. Never mind. So, it's actually better. Yeah, it's the AM02C variant compared to the AM02. Nice. It's also yellow. Eh, Alright. Cool. Let's keep going, guys. We have another mission to do. Let's go ahead and do it. Mission's coming. Next one is investigate the designated area. Oh yeah, that's the one that I was uh, referring to. 
If you have any questions, you can access me at any time to review the contents of this briefing. Briefing will now commence. This is a private mission from Zen. There is no briefing, right? Whether you accept or refuse this mission, please be advised that severe penalties will be imposed if its contents are disclosed to others. Your objective is to investigate the border of Sky Union's territory and eliminate enemy AIs in the area. Ah, and now we're fighting enemy arsenals as well. Additionally, Sky Union's territory may be included in the combat zone. Makes the game a bit more difficult. As a precautionary measure to prevent a worst case scenario, you are prohibited from bringing weapons on this mission. And that makes no sense. Precautionary measure to prevent the worst case scenario, you are prohibited from bringing weapons to the mission. Complete any necessary preparations, then stand by and await dispatch. Briefing over. Alright, again it's another tutorial. That's the spirit. Bet you weren't expecting that, huh, rookie? Anyway, I'm Chill from Innocence. Nice to meet ya. And this loudmouth is with the Western Seven. His name is Big Bald... Uh... Hey, what was your name again? Big Bad Gargantua! Quit saying I'm bald! I'm only 24! I just shaved my head is all! Really? That was a choice. <laughs> you wanna die, twerp? <laughs> This is a private mission to investigate the border of another consortium's territory. Seems sketchy, don't you think? We can't leave any trace of our presence either. That means we gotta procure weapons on site. Mm -hmm. Big deal! I'm just gonna wreck everything I see! Even you two! Stay out of my way or I'll wreck you up! You got a bit of a hothead here, huh? Western Seven are all like him, pretty much. Anyway. See you out there, rookie. I like him. Alright, let's start it, guys. Now we learn how to salvage stuff from battlefields, and that's super important because that's how you get stronger over time. So we need to kill stuff, especially enemy uh, arsenals, and then we're gonna take your stuff. Femto particle density is high. Long range radar is not available, but short range radar is not affected. Initiating each arsenal's data link. Opening squad communications channel. So, no matter what we do, they can't see us from there. That is correct. Procure weapons for yourselves before you arrive at the designated area. Okay. Begin the mission. I do what I want! You two can kick rocks for all I care! <laughs> uh, and off he goes. Well, rookie, I guess we better get started. I know we got dispatched empty-handed, but all arsenals have universal weapon specs. Meaning, if an enemy's using a weapon, we can use it too. You can either pick them off destroyed enemies or grab whatever weapons you find laying around. Stand Let's do complete. it. Displaying available weapons on your console. See? Thor's got our backs. Just pick up a weapon and she'll handle the calibration and configuration and whatnot. <laughs> oh man, some of the characters are super hilarious. So. Let's go ahead and get a weapon from this guy. We have a Reaper now. That's a machine gun. Let's take a secondary weapon. Actually, let's take this secondary weapon. And drop it at... Wait, where's the other tank? Uh, I lost track. Anyway, have it and like it. Oh wait, it was, it was a turret up here, right? Uh, yeah. So, secondary weapon, as I was saying. Let's drop on this arsenal and get it. Um, cool. So we got two weapons now. And then there is more arsenals on the board. So it's enemies. Cool. It is also important to upgrade, um, 
uh, 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 upgrade your arsenal's legs and, and whatnot. Land boost speed. Flight boost speed. I like this one. I'm gonna take it. Okay. So we own we own a better torso now. We cannot use it yet because we have one already, obviously. Man, I like the submachine gun. It's firing fast as hell. Dealing lots of tiny impacts there. What else do we take? More legs. You can see the yellow one we don't have yet. The white one we have. So I'm gonna take these legs. And now I would say we're gonna quickly destroy those drones. Because they are nasty. Uh, who are you? I'm gonna activate my femto power to just deal massive damage to him. Yeah. Uh, more legs? Sure. Why not? Ta -da, throw it down. Oh, there's the next one. Hello. You're dead. Uh, there's a new head. Cool. We'll take this as well. Oh, tanks. Sure. Let's kill him. Can we get another arsenal, please? Also, we have we have, we have one more remaining target, and there he is. Power up! Let's go. I did so much damage. Boom! There we go. Uh, I'll take another pair of legs, I believe. Mission complete. Mission so, accomplishment recognized. What was that? Return sequence. That was that. that. Was fine. We survived and that's all that matters. Let's go home, Ricky. Another mission complete. Uh, the missions are getting a little bit longer later, so don't worry about that. That's pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and play one more. Uh, we get 3,000, and here's the loot from the battlefield. We also get best of the best reward, met mission completion quota. Um, cool, we got a decal that we can use. Let's check it out, actually. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, now we can actually start building, because we have some armor, we got some weapons. And you can see the hat that we just got here, the one with the blue marker, this one here. It has a better lock on range, more durability... Um, memory usage is worse. We have a total memory usage, which is basically our limitation uh, on top. Um, you can see that uh, all up there, uh, above the list of equipment there. Um, so, the more memory used, the, the worse it is, because at some point, if you get over the, the maximum amount of memory that you have, you cannot efficiently work with your arsenal anymore. Um, overall performance, I think it's better. I like the longer lock-on range. It means we can shoot earlier. And this one here has just better flight boost speed and more durability and an attachment slot. Sure, we'll take that. And then we got legs as well. Three of the same. Uh, more speed, more durability, but also more memory usage. It's, it's going up. Alrighty. And we got a new weapon. And you know what? I'm gonna probably use two submachine guns now. Because I like the fast firing weapons. Right weapon is gonna get the same. Uh, it's this one here. Sure. Let's go in with those. Alright, next mission's coming, guys. Oh man. This game is so hilarious. Destroy the production facilities. Sure, can do. Mission briefing. If you have any questions, briefing will now commence. This mission is a request from Zen. Corrupted AIs have been confirmed at production facilities in Zen's territory within the Oval Link. Your objective is to destroy these facilities. Yeah, destruction mission, finally. Complete any necessary preparations, then stand by and await this briefing over. That's not briefing, she just said get in there and destroy. I just wish everyone would die. <laughs> well, I just love breaking stuff. Of course, they have to have weird so twins. Excited. Destroying facilities sounds way more fun than fighting little baby bots. 
I bet Zin's none too happy about Immortals corrupting facilities in their own territory. Still, it's not like the built-in artificial intelligence and their drones can do anything to stop it from happening. Abyss and I will break you if your feeble old man brain gets corrupted. Won't be necessary. After all, Immortals can't corrupt human minds. That's why outers like us make perfect mercs. Know what I mean? Nope, not at all! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you would be better off dead. Oh, it hurts. hurts. It hurts, the character writing hurts so much. Better off dead, huh? Just don't bust up my cybernetic legs then. They're a custom job, one of a kind. Very expensive. I need you, you who are still following, need to make a decision now, right now, down below in the comments. Shall I skip the conversation and just get to the big stompy robot action? Or do you care about the storyline? Let me know down below in the comments, right now. So you're the rookie everyone's talking about. Johnny already filled me in. I'm with Bulletworks, just call me Painkiller. And these... Heaven of the Five Hells! Abyss. Abyss. You heard of the Five Hells? Their leader is this real high society type proclaimer named Savior. Yeah, we know him already. These young ladies are his little sisters. If that worries you, I get it. Believe me, I do. But I promise you, they're talented outers. We're way stronger than you, old man. She's not joking. Battlefield partners can be a crapshoot, but these two are trustworthy mercs. Anyway, I gotta get my arsenal ready. See you out there. Ciao. Kill you later. All right, let's get on the battlefield and have some fun. I wish that the missions were longer and the dialogue was shorter. Oh man. Or may maybe just on the battlefield, in in, in reasonable ways. Good to see you again. I'm counting on you. Yep, get right. Destroy the facilities corrupted by the walls. That's actually pretty easy, you know. We can just go in like that, shoot some missiles, shoot some bullets, shoot some everything. By the way, it's better not to get caught in these collapsing buildings because they deal massive damage to your arsenal. Okay, now that we got the first complex down, we have enemy arsenals joining the field, which is good, because again, they actually pose a threat to us. Get Rack! So, seven remaining targets. Oh, that was an arsenal. Oh, let's go ahead and fight him. Overload! Wait, wait, what? Oh, there he is! And down he goes. And I'm instantly picking up his stuff because I don't want to forget about it. Everything that you don't pick up, you lose. You don't get it. In the end. Uh, but we should also take care of the builders, obviously. So, five more to destroy. And there was another arsenal somewhere, right? Let's go with speed here. So that we can traverse a bit more. Okay. Where's the, the other arsenal? I wonder. Wait, I want the loot. I want the salvage. Enemy down. There were two of them. Like Wait a second. I mean, they're bringing more and more tanks. That's the thing that they do. Oh, they're all waiting. They got them. All right, all right, all right. All right. Let's play. Oh, never mind. There he is. They destroyed him. Cool, good job guys. I'll take... Do I have this already? I'll take the arm, I believe. Okay, and now back to the main objective, which is destroying the buildings, and uh, then we're gonna go home. Oh, that was a stamina alert. Okay. Down goes the building. Mission complete. As that. 
Mission accomplishment recognized. Initiating return sequence. We're done already? Good. But I want to break more stuff. Yeah, me too. We got to head back so you can tell Savior what a good job he did. <sighs> That's right. Do you think my Lord Brother will praise me? <laughs> I'm sure he will. Speaking of which, good job, Luke. Yeah, mission accomplished. That was okay, I would say. And we're gonna return to the hangar. So, guys, we got 3,500 um, credits, we got decals, we got two more arms. What do you think of the game? Let me know down below in the comments. You like it? Also, new features have been unlocked. The ice cream parlor is unlocked. Uh, yeah. We, we don't care about the ice cream parlor. I'm gonna show you the ice cream parlor, real quick, as the last thing. Let's let's get in there. Ice cream perks! You can buy all kinds of different ice cream now. After buying ice cream, you will receive temporary bonus to your outer and arsenal abilities. Every ice cream purchase you make comes with a stamp. Collect enough stamps and you will receive a token you can exchange for more ice cream. So, what we can make is a double... Uh, we're gonna take a, a waffle, a, a waffle cone, okay. Uh, and then we're gonna put banana ice cream, and I like green tea ice cream. No, where's the green tea? It's gone. All right, um, banana and cheesecake. Yeah, let's go. Banana cheese cheesecake. <laughs> now we got what? Two percent movement increase. Wow, that's amazing. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend credits now. Eight hundred and eighty. Cool. And a stamp. Oh, isn't that cute? Wow, great. I'm so happy now. Let's go ahead and get out of here. <laughs> this is just. I mean, why? <laughs> Seriously, why? <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, it has been it for today. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of it. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.